Diffusion tensor imaging is a method that measures the diffusivity of water molecules in the tissue. So whenever uh, there is a um, change in tissue microstructure because of um, pathologies that damage the brain, such as Alzheimer's disease, we see that um, the, this um, motion of water molecules change in the tissue. So that, that's kind of a signature of the integrity of the brain tissue. In these two studies, we looked at diffusion tensor imaging changes in people with mild cognitive impairment. And in the second study, we looked at diffusion tensor imaging changes in both Alzheimer's disease and dementia with Lewy bodies. In the study where we looked at um, the differences between um, normal aging and mild cognitive impairment, we found that people with um, mild cognitive impairment who have impairment only in memory have changes that are similar to changes typically seen in Alzheimer's disease. Um, they had um, diffu diffusion changes in the um, hippocampus, which is generally found to be um, degenerated in Alzheimer's disease. So what we found in the hippocampus was that um, there was um, tissue microstructure changes that would um, change the diffusion tensor imaging uh, findings in people with mild cognitive impairment, which was similar to the findings we um, saw in Alzheimer's disease. This um, indicates that the um, diffusion tensor imaging is sensitive to early Alzheimer's disease related um, neurodegenerative changes in the hippocampus in people with mild cognitive impairment. In people who with mild cognitive impairment who didn't have memory impairment but had impairments in other cognitive functions such as language or attention um, or visuospatial function the hippocampal diffusivity was normal, suggesting that people with um, non-amnestic mild cognitive impairment or mild cognitive impairment without memory impairment would have um, would be less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease since they don't have diffusion-related changes that we typically see in Alzheimer's disease cases. I think the significance is that um, we have an imaging tool that helps us determine the microscopic changes in the brain tissue and it can be used for identifying um, a pathological process early be before it's clinically apparent. It can also be used to understand um, the type of pathological process. For example, in the study where we looked at Alzheimer's disease cases and dementia with Lewy bodies disease cases, um, we saw that there were differences in the um, diffusion tensor imaging changes, suggesting that the involvement of the tissue microstructure is different between these two um, pathological processes. So we think these diffusion tensor imaging markers will be may be useful in the future for um, differential diagnosis of different pathological processes. At the present time, the, this this was the first study at Mayo to um, identify these changes in, in our group. So um, it, it's I don't think we're at the stage where we can use this as a clinical tool, but um, we know that there is um, some, some diffusion tensor imaging abnormalities, so now we, um, we have this tool to investigate further and see if we can, um, again, use it for early diagnosis and differential diagnosis, so this was kind of the first step of understanding the, um, the um, abilities of these to this diffusion tensor imaging method to um, determine these changes.